Well, good morning, Cathedral families, and thank you so much for joining me for today's Children's Liturgy of the Word. And I know as we continue to journey through our summer vacation, I know the Lord is continuing to bless us with growth, that we never stop learning, we never stop loving, and we never stop growing. And that's kind of an important message, especially as we reflect on the scripture reading that the church gives us today to reflect on and celebrate. Jesus speaks about how it is that we grow in faith. And so I want to invite each and every one of you to open your ears and your eyes, your minds and your hearts, to reflect on the good things that God wants to teach us today. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus taught his followers many things by using stories. So he said, A farmer went out to scatter seed in a field. And while that farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell along the road and was eaten by birds. Other seeds fell on thin, rocky ground. And they quickly started growing because the soil was not very deep. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they dried up because they did not have enough roots. Some other seeds fell where the thorn bushes grew up and the thorns choked the plants. But some of the seeds did fall on good ground where the plants produced a hundred or sixty, or thirty times as much as was scattered. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, each and every time I get to go down and visit the learning garden behind school, I think kind of about this reading. I think about how it takes a lot of tender, loving care, so TLC, for us to be able to see growth taking place in our midst. And that's an important lesson for us. We have to be able to cultivate a space for God's love to grow in us. We can't simply expect that God is going to kind of zap our hearts and make us love him. No, that's not the way it works. Rather, we have to create a space of quiet, of peace, calm in order to hear God speaking to us. We have to create a space that is loving, that is concerned for our neighbors and for our world, to hear how God wants to direct our steps, to witness to his love, and to engage in good acts of mercy. And so all of that helps us to kind of cultivate that soil, that rich soil in our hearts where the Lord's love is allowed to grow. You know, just as with any garden, if we don't take good care of it, we can see that weeds will come and grow in the midst of what we're trying to plant, what we're trying to produce. Or we can see that if we don't water it enough, or if it doesn't get enough sunlight, nothing will ever kind of develop, nothing will ever take root, or it'll quickly fade away. And so it is with our faith life. We can't expect to just kind of let God work once in our hearts and let that be enough forever. Rather, we have to be constantly renewed. We have to be constantly working to listen to the Lord with active hearts. And we have to try not to let the difficulties of this world you know, kind of choke out that beautiful gift of love that God has given us. And so, for all of you gardeners out there, for all of you, whether you're a green thumb, or whether the garden that you're planting is within your heart, just remember that the Lord blesses the growth that is in you. The Lord desires to see you blossoming, maturing, flourishing as he works in your heart. Make sure that you are creating that wonderful space for God to work. Make sure that you're continuing to grow 
not resting too much during this summer vacation. Make sure that we're always engaging in good acts of love and mercy to all of our brothers and sisters, whether in our family or in our wider world. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.